Hi guys, it's Jess and Darren. What we're gonna do is we're gonna short space of time show you how easy it is. So we're making a, a nail and cuticle bath, um, honey and coconut milk bath wash. We're making a magnesium oil and we're making a detangler and also a bentonite clay cleanser. So I'm gonna be the instruction, I'm gonna be the dictator. <laughs> okay. And you're gonna be the maker. Well, I'm gonna be the maker. You're gonna be the maker. Oh. That's new to me. Okay, you better tell me what I'm going to do then. <laughs> okay, so first up we're making a beard oil. So for those of us who have beards. I don't beards, have a beard. You don't have a beard, but many people do. So just here, we're going to get this little, beautiful little bottle, only a couple of dollars online. And what we're going to do is we're going to put four drops of rosemary. So this is a beautiful beard oil. You can give that metro guy. Beards are all the rage at the moment. So five drops of rosemary. This is a beautiful gift. This is gonna make their beard, um, so that is... Um, Siberian fur. Siberian fur, yep. How five drops it? of that. So rosemary for is really good for hair and growth and making it strong. Siberian fur, um, and then you've got cedarwood, cedarwood, which is also really good for skin. It's also a beautiful manly smell. So four or five drops of cedarwood. So it's this easy, you know, hubbies can make it. Have a DIY afternoon and make all your Christmas gifts. Is it coming out? Nope. It's too thick, is it? You just have to, once you get the first drop. See what it's a new bottle, that's all. This wheel, it's coming. So this is, this is just something you can pop a couple of what yeah. do you do? Do you put it on your beard before you cut it or after you cut it or while no, it's growing? No, it's just a, a daily thing that you put on your beard to make it smell beautiful, to make it healthy. Nothing worse than a manky beard, hey? What's it coming in? Okay. Let's just pretend we'll get that out in a minute. How many drops? Five. So my brother's got a beard, so he's getting this for Christmas. Hopefully he's not watching because you just spoiled it. Why? <laughs> oh, as a surprise, I he's too old for surprises anyway. Okay. okay, and then the same with frankincense. So we know frankincense is the king of oils. If in doubt, use frankincense. It smells amazing. And it comes out a lot easier. And then, which I didn't have ready, I'm gonna top it up with fractionated coconut oil. So doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil, use the good stuff, use doTERRA. Um, so this is just going to top it up. So that's about a 15 ml bottle. Oh, don't have, doesn't have to be right to the top. Oh yeah, a little bit more. So you can put a beautiful label on this, put it in a nice bag. Or Maybe, if it's for a bloke, just give it to him because he doesn't really go for nice bags. <laughs> So just do it up, give it a shake. Okay, then pop a drop in your hand. So this has got a little dropper, so it's really easy to do. Cup, maybe three or four drops. And then you're gonna rub it around. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel it growing already. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's get on to so that's a beautiful beard oil, all the rage. You could pay $30, $40 in the shops for a beard oil. Now we're doing a healthy nail serum. So I'm gonna do it in this one. This is probably not for guys. Probably not for guys. <laughs> so we're doing five drops of wintergreen. So this is a healthy nail serum, Anne-Marie. Ooh. Look how Look at that colour, I love wintergreen. So wintergreen comes from Nepal. Then we're doing, is that lemon? Myrrh. Myrrh, so five drops of myrrh. So myrrh is like a resin, that's why it's so hard to get off yeah. that lid. If you have a look at it, it's all caked around there. So five drops, it's a really precious oil, really beautiful for skin. Two. So this is going to be good for your healthy nails and for your cuticles. So two drops of lemon. Okay. 
and then three of frankincense. That might be getting towards the end, that one. It is very towards the end. Okay. Okay, just pretending like we're on play school. <laughs> Um, three of Frank. Frankincense. So what do you know about frankincense, Darren? It's very difficult to spell. <laughs> um, it's the king of oils. King of oils. Yes, you have been listening. Yeah. If in doubt, use Frank. Use frankincense. It used to annoy me when people called it Frank. It sort of sounds like... Manly. Maybe. But is Frank a good man's name? I don't know. Sorry to all the Franks out there. Sorry, this is a beautiful gift to give anyone, probably female in your life. Yeah, wouldn't give this to a bloke. <laughs> Could be a bit wasted. You might feel like he's been left out of the will. So you don't have to put it all the way on, you just wind that on. Okay, so we've got our bead oil, now we've got our nail and cuticle oil. And this is just something you can put on every day for people that bite that. Well, you don't need to do that if you just wind yep. that on. People that bite their nails, you know, Matilda's trying to go her, grow her nails at the moment. This is going to be good for her. Sorry, show me your hand, babe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, just one. Just one. <laughs> so manly. I'm glad this is going out to the world. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now... We're going to do this is a bit more manly, babe. Yeah, do you want to swap? Mid. Huh? Keep going. Yep, keep going. So we're going to do our body wash. So grab this jar. We're going to put in half of that coconut milk. So this is a beautiful body wash. We're going to put it in this container. This is just going to be for us. We harvested honey today. See the honey? So we've got a bit of excess honey. Thought we'd do this. This? Yep. Half of it. Oh. Oh. That's half. <laughs> Pretty much all of it. Okay. Just do the same amount of honey. You might as well just put all that honey in. Look at that beautiful golden honey. So what sort of flower did we think it was from? That's jacaranda flower honey, probably. Because the jacarandas have just finished flowering. And then we're going to pour it. The rest of that can go on my toast. The rest of that on your toast, yeah. Soap. Did I write this down? Yep, so double that amount of Castile soap. I think that's good. Then we're going to put some essential oils in. Now you can put whatever essential oils you want in, but because we've got it here and I love geranium, we're going to put geranium and lavender. You hear the kids yelling. How much? 15 drops. Ten of lavender. So we're making a body wash, guys. This is a beautiful body wash made with coconut milk and. Ten. Okay. Take it away. Thanks. Put the lid on. Um. Yep. Put the lid on. Shake it. Shake it. It'd be really awesome if we had the right lid for the right <laughs> bottle. <laughs> it's like play school. Didn't quite have the right lid for the right bottle. I did briefly check it. I thought it fit in. Maybe not. So this is just to mix it up before we put it in this beautiful jar. And clearly the kids aren't going to be using this one because it's glass. So we'll just have that for the adult's body wash. Kids are screaming, of course. We're doing a Facebook Live. It's okay, the grandparents are minding them. Look at that. Now, if you were living in a house where you didn't have the use, like the throughput of body wash, you weren't going to use it quickly, you'd put a bit of vitamin E oil in that just as a preservative. Extend the shelf life. So, 
So we like to use glass with essential oils. So I'm just going to use a funnel here so it doesn't end up like play school. So this may separate um, in the shower, but you can just give it a bit of a shake. So it's got honey, coconut milk and castile soap. So we'll let you know how that goes. We haven't tried this one before, but I've had my eye on that recipe for when we had excess honey. And I'll show you our honey over here. Check it out. Yeah, how many kilos do we get, babe? Uh, about four. Four kilos of honey today. Okay, so next we're making a magnesium oil. So, magnesium oil, they're all the rage. And the reason being is they are so good for you. Most of us are deficient in magnesium and it affects everything. It affects your sleep, your skin, your bones, your teeth, your mood. Um, so you, we use magnesium chloride and it's, this is what it is. Buy it from Blantz. So Blantz is a Australian company. Um, just buy that online. And we're going to fill this squirter bottle, and this is actually a gift, so magnesium oil for a gift. We fill it half up with the magnesium chloride flakes. And then we've got some warm distilled, so distilled as in like that bottled water. And then we added a bit of boiling water to make that, to make that warm so it dissolves. So the idea is to dissolve these magnesium chloride flakes and it makes the oil. Make it as strong as you like. So I like to start off with half, half, but you can definitely make it stronger. So this is for a gift. This is for Darren's um, mum who has a sore back. So we're actually gonna add some ice blue, really good for musculoskeletal. So that, that's the magnesium oil and the ice blue, both really good for your muscles and joints. Want to show this? You have to turn it. I think it's empty. No, there was. Okay, we'll get whatever we can out of there, but 10 drops, 10 or 15 drops, and you can do lavender, you can do frankincense, and we're going to do ice blue. And you put a squirter on that, and that makes a beautiful magnesium oil. We've even got some stickers there to pop on that. Okay, so we've done the beard, beard oil. oil, the cuticle and nail oil. We've done the, oh, honey. the honey body wash, and now we've done the magnesium oil. So that magnesium, I don't know if you guys know, but um, you can either pop it in the bath and, and sit in your bath for 20 minutes, or you can spray it onto your body, and it's absorbed through your skin, so interdermally, and that, that it's absorbed to the max after 20 minutes. So then you can have a shower if you like, because it is a little bit, the oil is a little bit like, sort of like salt water when it dries on your skin. So probably not as coarse. So some people don't like that, but you can rinse it off after 20 minutes. So the next one we are making is, can you just hold that? fighting while we're on the phone. So we're going to make a health, uh, sorry, what is it? So it's a bentonite clay. So this is the bentonite clay. So it's all natural. It's a, an all natural clay um, sourced from Australia and it has lots of natural minerals and is really good at absorbing toxins from your body. But this is a beautiful um, mask or face wash, but it's sort of, um, what do you call it? It's an ex exfoliating face wash. So we've got the, we might just take a bit out. The bentonite clay, can you just drip? And then we've got the rosehip oil. So the rosehip oil is so, such a good oil for your skin. Nice to Yeah, you need about a tablespoon, so. Sure. Let's just pour it in. This is really premium stuff, so. But when I think about what I used to spend on face washes and exfoliants, it's nothing. So you can also use jojoba. So we might even use a bit of that if we don't have. 
So rose hip is so, so good for your skin. And next, next video, we might even make a rose hip face serum. So it's about one and a half tablespoons to make it into paste. Can you stir it, babe? Like making pancakes. <laughs> So you are going to love this. It just cleanses the skin so beautifully. It's gentle enough to be used every day. Um, now, if you had, with the oils that we're going to add, if you had um, normal skin, lavender would be a good oil. So if you had sensitive skin, lavender as well. Um, dry skin would be geranium or sandalwood. And I'll pop all these in the comments. But oily skin, you would be using bergamot. Tea tree is good for acne. And if you had mature aged skin or damaged skin or scarred skin, then frankincense. So let's do, it's going to be for me, so normal skin and maybe a bit damaged. So lavender and frankincense. And you want to put eight drops all up. Actually, no, four because we made half a quantity. So is that four of what? That's lavender. So lavender is just good for skin. It's really calming to the skin. And we're just going to put two of Frank. So you can leave it on as in a mask, or I just like to use it as a face wash. So we're going to pop it in that little tin, just so I can have it sitting in the shower. And you can also make this up as a gift. Yep. Of course they're going crazy because we're doing a Facebook Live. So really beautiful mask or as a, yes, it will make your room smell pretty, Chad. Splash that lavender around, baby. We'll get a spatula and get all the rest of that out. So the next thing and the last thing that we're making is a detangling spray that's really good for your hair or your kid's hair. Okay, so we'll leave that there, but that, the yeah, we'll get the rest of that later, but that's our, so the detangler, it's a bit of a mess here, we need, we actually used the wrong bottle, so we probably should have used the little bottle for the magnesium and the bigger bottle for the detangler, but we'll do it in here. So, where's my recipe? So we need a tablespoon of conditioner for that size. So half a tablespoon of conditioner in there. And this is the doTERRA all natural conditioner. Nup, 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 nup. And then we need apple cider vinegar. I forgot to get that out of the pantry. So apple cider vinegar is really good for your hair. You can even just use it as a tonic post washing your hair. Just rinse a bit of apple cider vinegar and you'll be amazed. It doesn't strip your hair at all as you would think it would. It just makes it shiny and healthy. So always love our apple cider vinegar. How much? Um, so it said a quarter of a cup, but an eighth of a cup. Yep, that's good. And then we're going to do five drops of rosemary, which is really good for hair growth. And even if you wanted to put a drop of rosemary into your mascara, that's going to stop the bugs growing, but also really thicken up your lashes. Hey babe, you always put that, um, rosemary into your mascara, don't you? Yeah, how much rosemary? Five. Oh, yeah, five. This is going to be strong. And then five of patchouli. What's that? Hmm, where is that? I must have go. forgotten it. <laughs> There's five drops of patchouli. It is play school. Five of geranium. Did I just forget all of the oils for this one? Oh no, I've got geranium. So geranium, we love geranium in this house, don't we? What do we use geranium in? It goes in the bottom wipes, doesn't it? Bottom wipes, yeah. That I use all the time. <laughs> you do not. Um, tea tree. <laughs> do I have a tea tree? Yep. Oh, let me just go and get the Here tea tree. There's five cups of tea tree. <laughs> no, I get it. You talk yeah. to the people. Go. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just else. go and get it. Okay, he doesn't want me to get it. So we, in there, we're going to put, we put a tablespoon of conditioner. If you did it in this size bottle, it should be a tablespoon of conditioner, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, 
five patchouli, five rosemary, five geranium and five tea tree. And then that is a really good hair, um, which I probably need at the moment, my hair's a bit feral, um, hair detangler. And especially for the kids when they're crying and screaming and um, don't want you to brush their hair after swimming, this is a really good one. But it's really, really incredibly good for the hair. So. Um, Anything that's good for the skin is generally good for the hair. So geranium is definitely good for the skin. Tea tree is really good for the scalp. So a lot of dandruff comes from fungal related problems. So tea tree is antifungal and it's gonna really be good for your healthy scalp and killing any little buggies. Um, rosemary, well, it's known for thickening and nourishing the hair. Like I said, put a drop in your mascara even. Um, people that over which used to be me, I'm trying to grow them back. But people that over wax their eyebrows, rosemary is gonna help thicken them up. Um, and patchouli, well, it's really, really good for the hair. So all these with a bit of the doTERRA, this amazing conditioner, um, this lasts, we've got three girls, through Darren doesn't use conditioner, so four, three girls plus me, and this lasts for, I reckon, two months, because it's just so concentrated, you just don't need much at all. Um, so this is in the um, detangler. So it's a tablespoon of conditioner, some apple cider vinegar for shine and for hair health, and then top it up with water. Then you've got the five drops of rosemary, five of patchouli, tea tree, and geranium. But I'll put the recipes in the bottom, and if you miss a recipe or I don't do it, just send me a message, I'll send them on to you. So, today we have made, ultra quickly, the beard serum, beard oil, the nail and cuticle serum, so that's, that's gonna be a beautiful gift for someone as well as the beard stuff. Then we've got a body soap, so a bath gel, we call it. It's got honey and coconut milk and castile soap and some essential oils. Then we've got our magnesium oil, um, makes a beautiful gift. Then we've got, what do I do with that? Just a small quantity, but that just shows you how easy it is to make. It's bentonite clay and rosehip oil and then your face oils and that's a cleanser and you guys are gonna love that. Um, and then the hair detangler. So that just shows you how easy it is to make your Christmas gifts. You can get in, order your stuff online, do it all in the afternoon. Your hubby can help you. People are going to love it. I especially love homemade gifts above anything else. So um, get in there. Make it. There's a good mix of male, female gifts too. So do it all in November. So you don't have to worry about Christmas presents in December. And you can have a stress-free Christmas. Okay, thanks guys.